In this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over a lithium iron phosphate battery. This is a deep cycle battery that replaces any type of like lead acid batteries. And it's from the company Sycon. I think is how you would say that. Seacon maybe. It's ideas for energy. And let me just kind of like go over some of the specs with y'all here. You know what? Let's look at it here. Let me turn it around on its back. Let's see what's on the back. So the nominal energy is 1.28 kilowatts. The nominal voltage is 12.8. Rated capacity, like I said, is 100. Continuous, max continuous charge and discharge, 100 amps. And you get 100 amps from a lithium iron phosphate, unlike a lead acid, because lead acids from my research has been, you know, it seems like you don't get the full amount of the 100 amps. You'll get about 60 to 80%, depending on the make and model of that. One of the things I got this for particularly is for a kayak with a trolling motor. This is a small trolling motor, but I want to maximize the energy on that. And so one of the things that I look for the most is the weight. So I will weigh this thing. By the way, it came in a nicely packaged box with foam and you can see these little terminals here are covered. They unscrew like that. It comes with these terminals with a washer, but they're plastic terminals. They well, a plastic cap on them. You can take that cap off, but that's great that they have that protection on there. So you don't actually end up getting some accidental sparkage on that. And by the way, you can take this handle off if you want. See that? You can get it off and you have a little thing right there. So if you had a spot where you just wanted to put it and you didn't want your webbing handle on there for whatever reason, you don't have to, but you know what? I like the web. Kind of innovative way that they've done that. I kind of like how they did that. And look at this, I can lift this. My arm is straight out and I can lift that. So we'll take it out, the user manual there. Had this little inspection card to let you know it passed. And looking over the manual here, you see that it has the two terminal bolts. It has the insulation cap, some things on battery disposal, which we won't have to worry with that because we get thousands and thousands of charges on this thing before we have to worry about that i know i already went over all the specifications on this thing recommended discharge voltage 11.2 you can kind of see all the specs there the case materials and abs certified for waterproofing so it's a sealed battery if you look at it it's sealed so that's why you know what i'm using it on a kayak uh max weight so the weight on this thing is 10.5 kg which i'm going to actually put that on a uh, i have a scale over there and we're going to weigh it bms it does have the battery management system built into it and it gets up to life cycle 6,000 cycles of charging which that could last you years. You could pass this things down through generation. You know, you can check it right there, 13.4 volts. If you, I have a multimeter in there and I check my batteries from time to time. You can run these in series or parallel. So you can get um, several of these batteries and basically get you a solar panel and then run an entire house on these. This is great for off the grid uh, living too. A little under 13 inches that way, a little about eight and a half that way and it looks like six and a half that way. And the distance between the terminals look to be around about 10 inches and three quarters right there. Let's put the battery on there. Look at that, everybody. 22 pounds right on the money. What do they say it is? They're saying it's 23 pounds. Let's try that again. Let this reset. That's crazy that it's actually a pound lighter than what they claim. There it is, two times I've got 22 pounds. So yeah, there it is everybody. There's all the specs and the weight and the dimensions and all that on this thing. Let's go ahead and let's put it to the test. Let's take it to the lake, put it on a kayak and let's run that trolling motor and see how well this thing pushes because I think I'm gonna get a lot of power out of this thing. Let's go ahead and let's get to the lake now. Let me show you how I set up the battery and the motor. So you're seeing the cooler back here. It's locked in because I have it ran the straps through the cooler but then check this out everybody <laughs> here's the battery that leaves it inside so that's technically like a big battery box and then i ran the wires out through the drain plug so i have the kayak motor set up like this that i'm going to run it and then that gives me a trolling motor option and then i also have an extension handle that i use because of the length back here see right here this is what's awesome i have full power on my battery and i did test the battery in, uh, before i left so i know that i'm all set up so yeah for the first bit i'm going to do some paddling and then i'll switch over and do some trolling motor so yeah let's get this thing on the water i'm just cruising right along this battery's pushing me really good that battery's got a lot of power 
and it's just pushing this little motor great and you can see how quickly i'm just kind of like going down through here now i'm out in the deeper spots this definitely helps getting across these long flat water sections a lot and let's just check the battery percentage on this thing so let me extend it out it looks like we're still at full power on this 100 amp battery i love how it fits down in this cooler like this and locks into place the, the battery is is very light so i don't even feel it back here a lead acid like this battery right here would weigh a freaking ton in the back of this boat and i still have full power on it right now after going probably three to five miles out from the boat dock so i could easily get maybe 20 to 30 miles before i need a charge and actually i could probably even put a solar panel and run a slow solar panel to this and have like a slow charge while i'm out here on the water fishing i'm not fishing today i'm just doing a, a quick test of the battery and the trolling motor and so far i have been really impressed i recommend this battery for anyone that's wanting to use a trolling motor or have an rv set up or an off the grid type solar panel set up because i think running these in series or parallel you could easily have enough power to run an entire house with this battery so yeah there it is that's all i got today everybody on the you know the Sycon 100 amp 12 volt battery see you on the next video